Caution on snack! Too bad! Too bad! Too bad! America's most powerful weapons must always be ready, hopefully never to be used. At this training facility in Minot, North Dakota, U.S. airmen mount an inert nuclear warhead atop a Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missile. More than 50 years old, the aging missiles are a strategic deterrent, able to hit anywhere in the world within minutes especially as America's adversaries build their own advanced weapons. Russia just began the next stage of its ongoing nuclear weapons exercise. Russian President Vladimir Putin has repeatedly threatened to use nuclear weapons since invading Ukraine. Meanwhile, U.S. officials believe Iran's breakout time to a bomb is one or two weeks. Where we are now is not in a good place. What we've seen in the last um, weeks and months is Iran that's actually moving forward with this program. All while North Korea tests its own array of ballistic missiles, as concern remains about another nuclear test from Pyongyang. As we get other nations develop more and more capabilities, it increases their ability to look at us and potentially say, maybe today it's worth it. About three minutes out for that. CNN traveled to the northern edge of the continental U.S. to get an exclusive look at missile alert facilities that control the ICBMs. The missile alert facilities aren't located at Minot Air Force Base. They're spread around the countryside, as you can see here, and that's where we're headed right now. After multiple ID and equipment checks, an elevator ride deep into the ground, and through two massive vault doors, we finally enter the control capsule itself. Down here inside the missile alert facility, we're very limited in what we can show you. It's because the heart of what the facility is all about. The, the controls and consoles that manage the launch sites, all of that is classified. We are the first ever allowed to spend a night at the facility. Here, officers stay alert during 24-hour shifts, monitoring nearby missile sites, ready for launch orders they hope never come. Every action that we do, every alarm that we get, we have to do it correctly and we have to get it right because our country's lives are at stake and we're trained to complete the mission. There's a mental aspect to this job as well, with each airman knowing the responsibility they bear. The this potential destructive power of these weapons is so vast. The public at large needs us to be sharpened and on our game with this in all aspects of it. The Miniman 3 is scheduled to be replaced by the Sentinel missile, part of the Air Force's effort to modernize U.S. nuclear capabilities. But the new ICBM is already 81% over budget and years away from deployment. How do you convince the American taxpayer that yes, this missile is needed, this missile is worth it? The ability for us to continue to provide this leg of the, of the nuclear triad, absolutely critical. And so we need to figure out a way to do that smartly uh, and economically as possible. But until the sun sets on the Minuteman 3, they quietly sit below the North Dakota landscape, a loud deterrent to the worst of wars. Orrin Lieberman, CNN in North Dakota.